Hello Oxygen users, my name is Sebastian, I'm the developer behind Microthema, which is a WordPress CSS editor that integrates nicely with Oxygen Builder. In this video I'm going to explain how Microthema works and give you a quick tour of the integration with Oxygen. To give you a brief overview, Microthema is a point and click CSS editor that can be used to customise the design of any WordPress content. It doesn't matter if that content comes from the theme, any kind of plugin like contact forms, WooCommerce, shopping carts, and of course, page builders like Oxygen. People have been using Microthema and Oxygen together for a long time, in fact. But what the recent integration does is optimize the workflow. Microthema does this in a number of ways, and we will cover them all. But the main feature is that we can now use Oxygen and Microthema at the same time from a single browser tab or two connected tabs if we're using two screens. We can enable Oxygen inside Microthema via the View menu or by using the Control, Alt and B keyboard shortcut. Then we can add content with Oxygen and style it immediately with Microthema. So for instance we can add some coloured boxes with Oxygen and then select the container element with Microthema and then use Microthema's CSS grid controls to create an interesting layout. We simply drag the grid boundary to set up our rows and columns. And then we can move our grid items into any position we want. We can also create some space between our items using the row gap and column gap properties and control the padding for all grid items via the All tab. Adapting grid layouts for mobile is just as simple. We go to the relevant Responsive tab and then drag our grid items into new positions. And here's a pro tip for you. It's often useful to restore the default auto flow behavior on mobile by setting the grid area property to auto. This just means that we don't have to reposition quite so many items. The All tab was added recently to simplify the practicalities of working with Grid. Another problem it solves is converting existing float or flexbox layouts to Grid. The Oxygen Columns component uses flexbox for layout, so this is a common requirement. If we create a selector for the flex container element and then change the display flex setting to display Grid, the Grid items will often only partially fill the Grid tracks. So things will look a bit squashed when we define our columns. This is because Oxygen sets the width property on the flex items to e.g. 50% or 33%. And when grid is enabled, the width property is relative to the grid tracks rather than the overall width of the container. We can fix this by setting the width of all grid items to 100%. Oxygen also sets the Justify Content property to center, which makes the content bunch up in the middle when no columns have been set. But we can reset this via the Align tab in order to let the grid items justify normally. Microthema's CSS grid support is one of the main reasons it's so popular with Oxygen users. But here are a few more reasons. Microthema has full support for CSS variables, which makes site-wide changes to font family, font size, brand colors, and spacing much easier. Variables can be used in any of Microthema's CSS property fields. For convenience, they can be selected from the Site Variables menu, which lists global variables in use on the site and can be refreshed when needed. If we ever want to change a variable's value, we just update it in one place and the change will take effect everywhere we've used the variable. We can define global variables using third-party plugins like Agency Tools or Central Color Palette. But if we're setting variables in Microthema, they should be added to a selector, which we manually add to a folder via the Selectors menu. The Selectors menu stores all of the CSS we create using Microthema's point-and-click tools. But we can also add our own selectors by using the plus icon when hovering over a folder. We enter a name in the label field like global variables and then enter colon root in the code field. The root bit sets the scope of our variables to the whole page which basically means they can be used anywhere. To finish we click the create selector button. 
Then we go to the code view to add our variable definitions. The syntax is hyphen hyphen, some name like h1 size, and then a value like 42 pixels. I provide some sample code in the YouTube video description to help you get started with variables quickly. Just copy and paste the code into this code editor area. There is a less well known but super important feature of CSS variables. They also make responsive design much simpler. We can update their values via the responsive tabs and then get the responsiveness for free every time we use the variable. For instance, if we set the h1 size variable to 24 pixels and then create a selector for our CSS grid heading, we can go to the all devices tab only to set our variable, which we will sample again so that the h1 size appears in the list. And then if we reduce the screen size, you can see our font size drops and we haven't had to set anything by the responsive tabs when applying it. One thing was media query tabs are completely customizable, by the way. We can add and edit breakpoints via the edit media queries option. We'll choose to load predefined media query sets like mobile first media queries or a set that matches Oxygen's media queries, which we'll move on to shortly. Microthema also gives us more granular control over which elements we can style and allows us to apply the same styling to sets of related elements. This can be really useful for styling Oxygen components and third party plugins like Contact Form 7. Most of the time we can target elements with point and click. But sometimes we need to be more precise when targeting elements that are tightly nested inside each other. Microthema's advanced targeting options come in really handy for this. We can expand the advanced options by clicking show advanced in targeting mode. The HTML pane on the left lets us precisely target elements by clicking on the lines of HTML. This makes it really easy to switch between parent and child elements and is great for beginners who are just starting to learn HTML and CSS. The breadcrumbs below the HTML are also useful for moving between parent and child elements. Over on the right, Microthema lists potential selectors we can use. The default selector always targets the single HTML element we clicked, but additional options are organized by the number of elements they target. So we can choose a selector that targets all five form elements, the three input fields, a text area, and the submit button. Sometimes there are multiple ways to target the same elements by tapping into different IDs or classes. In this case, the drop-down menu allows us to choose our preferred suggestion. So if we wanted our styling to apply to all contact form 7 forms, we would choose a suggestion that uses a class qualifier rather than a unique ID. In the middle, the styles tab shows us which CSS rules have been applied to an element exactly as they've been defined in the style sheet. On the computer tab, one final value is computed for every CSS property, taking into account browser defaults and the combination of competing CSS rules. The downside of the computer tab compared to the styles tab is that length values are always given in pixels, even if they're defined in rems or percentages, etc., by the user in the style sheet. But in combination, these tabs give us really useful insights into the CSS affecting our page. The CSS modifier option allows us to limit the scope of our selectors to the current page by enabling the page ID modifier. We can also create hover selectors before and after pseudo elements and tap into helpful nth child formulas here. Once we're happy with our element selection and are ready to apply new styles, we click the create selector button. As you may have guessed by now, Microthema is designed for experienced professionals as well as beginners. That's why the advanced targeting options expose the site's HTML and CSS. It's also why Microthema's CSS property fields are completely interchangeable with the code editor. We could even choose to have both showing at the same time. So we can set the border radius via the UI options, and then define a border via the code editor. And then switch back to the UI options to set the border color. Microthema will always convert UI styles to short form, so if we increase the padding via the UI options 
and use the chain icon to set all sides the same, MicroThemer will print the short form in the editor. Advanced users can enable support for SAS via MicroThemer's preferences. This isn't enabled by default because the interchangeability we just saw with the code editor isn't supported when SAS is enabled, although it will be in future. Advanced users may also wish to turn off MicroThemer's global importance setting, which is there to help beginners who haven't learned about CSS specificity yet. I know that performance is a top concern for Oxygen users, which is another reason to choose MicroThemer. MicroThemer outputs clean CSS to a single CSS file, which we can choose to minify via the preferences. And once we're ready to hand the site to a client, we can deactivate or completely uninstall MicroThemer and still load its CSS file by copying some code to our themes functions.php file. This means we can keep our plugin usage down and prevent clients from making edits they shouldn't. And if we want to make further edits in future, we simply reinstall MicroThemer and carry on where we left off. Now let's move on to the remaining integration features. If Oxygen is already active when we first install MicroThemer, some Oxygen specific settings will be enabled by default, such as a setting that ensures MicroThemer's style sheet loads after Oxygen's style sheet. This makes it possible to override Oxygen's CSS selectors without having to set higher CSS specificity or enable the global important option. Oxygen specific media queries will also be loaded automatically. One advantage of MicroThemer matching Oxygen's media queries is that the responsive views will sync up. So if we go to a responsive tab in MicroThema, Oxygen will update its responsive mode, and vice versa. Also, MicroThema will match the preview width Oxygen uses, which is normally at the start or in the middle of the media query range, rather than at the end of the range, as is normally the case with MicroThema responsive tabs. So together, these features keep the workflow nice and consistent. Some feedback I had from John McBade when I released the beta of this integration is that it's not always clear which page we're editing when working with Oxygen. And so I've added a new page menu to MicroThema, which tells us which page we're on and provides an easy way to navigate between pages. We just tick the checkbox if we want to auto load Oxygen on the new page. The navigation also lists Oxygen templates so we can hop between pages and templates in less steps now. Another advantage of loading Oxygen inside MicroThema is that the HTML pane will strip out the junk HTML attributes Oxygen adds when actively editing a page. If you've ever used Chrome to inspect the HTML when Oxygen is active, you'll know what I mean. This feature makes the HTML more readable and allows us to target elements more easily. MicroThema's selector detector has also been tweaked to work better with Oxygen's HTML. This was in response to some first-class user testing by Dean Phillips. I want to say a huge thanks to Dean for dedicating so much time and energy into helping me optimize MicroThema. I also want to thank Shreder Kartikam for his tutorials, Alexander Van Aken for his bug reporting, and the Oxygen community in general. I've been so impressed with the level of engagement from you guys. I received a few requests in the Oxygen Facebook group to integrate with Oxygen related plugins, such as the Oxygen Enhancer and Agency Tools plugin. After fixing an issue with full screen mode in the Enhanced plugin and CSS variable scope with the Agency Tools plugin, I can confirm that MicroThema plays well with both. And in terms of using CSS variables to find in Agency Tools, MicroThema's option to sample variables from the current page will retrieve its variables. This feature will pick up global variables applied by any third-party plugin, including the central color palette plugin. So I hope you found this introduction useful. I've included links to our website in the YouTube video description. If you would like to give MicroThema a try, there is an online demo available with some quick start training videos embedded. You can even see how MicroThema works with Oxygen specifically by loading the dedicated Oxygen demo. If you decide to incorporate MicroThema into your development toolkit, we have a number of plans available. The lifetime plans are great if you just want to pay once and then get all future updates at no extra cost. We also have the standard yearly plans with a 40% loyalty discount. And finally, we have a flexible monthly plan. You get the first month for free and you can easily cancel or restart your subscription from your ThemeOver dashboard. It's a great option for anyone who might be feeling a bit uncertain about future projects. And 
in case you're wondering, you don't need an active subscription in order to keep your style edits, just if you want to make new changes with Microthema. So there's no lock-in, you can pause and resubscribe when the work is coming in. Our checkout only uses PayPal at the time of recording, but if that's a problem, we can manually set up a Stripe invoice for you. The FAQ section below the price band should answer most of your questions, but please don't hesitate to start a Facebook chat conversation or use our contact form or forum if you need more help. Thanks so much for watching.